Like a pirate? All right. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, if you're, if I'm giving you a figure, or anytime you see a figure, there's a couple problems you need to remember. First thing is we need to recall again how to find the area of a triangle. And if we just take a, you know, general triangle, you're going to have h, which will represent your height, and then also you're going to have the distance on the bottom, which would be your base. So remember, when out calculating the area of a triangle, with the area of the triangle, the, the relationship is one half base times height. Okay? So if I'm looking at this triangle, what I'm going to write is I'm just going to write area of a triangle equals one half base times height. Now, rather than having a number, I have a monomial that's going to be my expression for my base. So I have area equals one half. The base is nine p cubed, and my height is four p. Ooh, that looks like p to the third power. So now what I need to do is I just can now, I can't multiply nine times p cubed, right? That's already simplified. That's a number times a variable. So what I do, Brian, is I just write it with my numbers next to each other. One half times nine times four times p cubed times p. And remember when there's no exponent, we can put a one up there. So remember our rule of exponents, or our multiplication rule of exponents. When you have two exponents that you're multiplying, you can add the exponents. So what is one half times nine times four? Well, that might be a little difficult, Jose. So what I would do is four times nine is 36 times one half, which gives me 18. And p cubed times p to the first is gonna be p to the three plus one, which equals p to the fourth. And there you go. Ta-da. <laughs>